Hello, long time no see. It is about 8.20 on Thursday. And I have like the whole day to do whatever, which is great as far as like, I don't have any client calls or anything like that. Um, and I wanna do a vlog because um, I feel like it's hard for me to make structured content right now because I'm just very focused on more like life stuff as far as like um, getting my routine down and getting moved in and getting things organized and unpacked. So I can just show you that instead. And along the way kind of sprinkle in some like how I guess I'm like maintaining my health. Honestly, I had like a therapy session yesterday and I was saying that I'm kind of stressed just because it's so, it is hard for me right now to exercise and eat healthy and everything without getting like too frazzled about it. And um, I just had to remind myself in the session that right now my health means like low stress, lots of sleep and just feeling good. So what that looks like right now might not look like what is stereotypical health, but that's always what I encourage clients to. Like if you're ever in a time where healthy habits are creating you more stress, then it's making you, you know, feel better. It, like the whole point of like having healthy habits is so that you feel better. Let's reevaluate and maybe just like take a step back and, and start from the bare minimum. Uh, for me, sleep is like always the bare minimum. And I got a long sleep last night. Um, it's 8.20, but you haven't missed a lot because I woke up at 7 and I got like over 10 hours of sleep, which is great. Um, and what else, what else, what else? I feel like I have so much. I am in Charleston. This is my Charleston bathroom. Um, and so today, mostly what I'm going to, I have my top three things is I want to, um, living in Charleston, if you didn't know, I moved here. I um, want to try to like unpack and semi-organize or at least just like get an idea of how I'm gonna organize my office. Um, I do, my only like exercise routine right now is to go on like two hour long walks, which sounds like a lot, but I just forgot living in an apartment, how, I'm living in a house, how little walking you do. We do have stairs, but compared to apartment life, you know, where you are um, walking you with a mail and walking to some chopstick um walking to go get mail and like walking to go get packages and having to walk the dogs like four times a day I'm just getting a lot less stuff so i feel like it kind of evens out like no chapstick how does that happen um let's put lotion on my lips so i normally take a walk down to this park that i live near that i can show you to and I normally take the dogs and then i normally walk down king street because we live like basically one street over from king street but to get to like the stores, like the lemon area, it's like a 30 minute walk. So it's pretty far. Um, today I wanted to try to find some like joggers. I tried to look at Little Lemon yesterday and they didn't have anything, but this Little Lemon is very small here. Uh, so I want to look at Outdoor Voices. And then besides that, I have nowhere else the idea to look on King Street. Um, what else? So those, and then I think my third thing, what's my third life thing? I made this list yesterday and now I can't remember. Oh, I want to try to see if I can buy a bottom to a plant pot that I have. It broke on the move and that plant is like dying because it like I think it's supposed to sit in water. Is it a monster? Not a monstera. It's one of the ones with the huge leaves and I think it's dying because I think they're supposed to like sit in water and reset it back up and I haven't been able to do that. So that's the top three. I do want to try to do a little bit of work. I'm trying slowly to integrate work in my routine. I like taking like a two or three week hiatus from work. I still see clients, but that's like pretty much all I'm doing. Uh, so I need to maybe try to do a little bit of that. Um, I'm not really cooking anything. I have lots of leftovers. Mm, my stomach's kind of been acting up, I think from like nerves. So I'm just eating like small frequent meals throughout the day. I don't feel like my diet is very good at the moment. So right now I'm just focusing on like not overeating. I don't think I have any fruit. And I have not been able to stomach any vegetables. That's why my health goal right now is just to walk and not overeat. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the day, I guess.
maybe figure out like a gym I could join. I don't know. I feel like I need to do strength training and because I don't have access to weights at all, um, because we don't have an apartment gym anymore since we're not in an apartment, I feel like I need access to something. Uh, I wish they had just like a Planet Fitness within walking distance or something because I'm so free only spending like $20 a month on a gym, but they don't have that here. So I've been trying to like think and make a list. The options are, I've been wanting to try MUSC, which if you know Charleston is the like medical university here and they have a, a wellness center that has pickleball and I think it's only like $100 a month. So that would give me access to pickleball every morning if I wanted to go with no additional cost and um, their facility, which I think they have a pool and they have some classes. It's just not very like cute. Um, but I think they do indoor pickleball and outdoor pickleball. Um, there's also some like boutique clubs that I would maybe be interested in looking at ethos high low and longevity club i'm kind of interested in doing like reformer pilates again i wish there was a gym almost like lifetime fitness uh, that had like all of it uh, and i also wish that you didn't have to like typically commit to a whole year i feel like that's my problem with gyms um so i might try like a one week free trial at, or it's not they're not free trials it's freaking one of these is a hundred dollar week trial um just to see I would prefer for it also to be in walking distance so I can get my steps in, uh, which three out of four of these are. Also, like, don't even know when I would fit in extra strength training, but maybe I could, like, cancel out one walk a day and do strength training. I don't know, but that's what I've been sitting here trying to research. Also, I feel like I just, like, want to get out. Whenever I move somewhere new, I just like want to connect with people and just have some sort of social interaction. And right now I have nothing. And I think that's what pickleball gave me in Texas is like social interaction every day. And right now I don't have that. And I just haven't loved the pickleball options here. So maybe I'll do some free trials and take you along the way for these things. So this is the project unpacking of the day. This is the office. Um, that's like slash guest room slash just like my room, I guess. Um, that's like where I'm going to work. This is the guest bed. It's a trundle. I've always had it. Um, but I don't know what to do with all these boxes because all of this was in an area that was, I think actually we used our guest bathroom as a, like it had lots of storage in that bathroom. So I just put a lot of like the office stuff in there because it was connected um, where we don't have that in this closet is like microscopic that's in here. It's like, that's it. So I think I'm gonna have to buy something for all of these boxes. Like as far as maybe like a shelf, I don't really know. But today I'm just gonna get things out of the box. That way I can at least like see what I have and then organize it and then next buy something. There is this like random little, let me show you. There's like this section up here, which I think I could put stuff in. Um, I guess they like built this maybe. And so I could put things that I don't use. Cause that's also what this is. It's like a lot of stuff I just like don't regularly use, but I can't really like get rid of like some of it is like educational books for work about random disease states um a printer yeah so what i'm gonna do today is just get it out of the box is the goal
done-ish. So at least I got that area cleared. Um, I just like, those are mattress protectors. I need to put on this mattress, but not doing it right now. I'll probably can do it tomorrow. Those are random pots that I, maybe this weekend can try to fill. Actually, maybe I should just go ahead and move them. I have this like box in there that's just like decor. Once we get everything set up, I can figure out where it needs to go. Um, I don't love <laughs> this situation, uh, but I'll figure that out. I don't love that lamp. I bought that lamp when we lived in Texas because it's like Texas cactus inspired, but I don't like it anymore. Um, but at least the room is cleared out and I think it'll help me focus a little bit more when I work. Hey, Bruno. Okay, so uh, lunchtime. I guess I can actually show you my face. Okay, I kind of have like a random piece together. I've been on like a shrimp roll. I've honestly been on like a Vietnamese kick since I moved here. I don't know why. Um, we got pho. I like really want a bun me. Maybe I'll get one this weekend. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should get one tomorrow. But um, I got Vietnamese summer rolls, which I don't recommend this place. I don't know. They were like hard. I wonder, I know Vietnamese summer rolls, they don't like, you know, they get like hard on the outside. Oh, this one's like really hard, but at this point it's like three days old. So maybe it's my fault. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to eat it anyway. And then I have some okra that I reheated and then a little bit of a um, naked pina colada. This one is like really good. I don't normally recommend these, but I was just like really craving them because my stomach has been off. I feel like ever since like the holidays and New Year's and stuff like that, I'm like slowly getting back to it. Um, and I'm just trying to eat every couple of hours, like a little bit of smaller meals. So if this is fine and my stomach feels fine, I think I'll try to eat this bean soup that I made because if not, I need to freeze it at this point um, for dinner. But this is my random piece together. Lunch, not really any protein, but again, I'm just, right now I'm just focusing on getting my stomach feeling better. I mean, there's like two little pieces of shrimp in here. Um, and hopefully at dinner, if I can stomach the beans, that'll get more protein in. But right now my health goal is just to like help my stomach stop hurting. Okay, so I'm on my walk. I did like end up like just like sitting around and like piddling around for like meal ideas and stuff. Um, for like an hour on like what up right there. I didn't have another like drinkable, I have like a drinkable yogurt Shivani thing. Uh, that's because I was like reading about how good calcium is. I was like, let me just have one of these while I'm here. They're great, they're only 50 calories. Um, now I'm gonna go on a walk to, um, I think I'm gonna try to make it to the battery, AKA like the water in Charleston. It's about a 45 minute walk. So if I do this walk, and don't do any other stops along the way, I can probably minimize my other walk. I don't know, maybe I'll just do both walks anyway, because I love going to the park. Um, there's a really pretty park. Uh, it's only 10 minutes away, so maybe I just like don't go as long of a walk inside the park, because typically I walk there, and then we walk around for like 20 minutes, and then we walk back, so it's like around an hour to do it all. Um, I'm gonna go back for the dogs, they really miss going on their walks. I feel like it's good for them to have some stimulation every day. Um, I was just going to say, yeah, I've just really been into walking again. I think I just love exploring through walking, but it just, I don't know what that leaves for pickleball. So we'll see if I can do this 45 minute down, 45 minute back walk. I want to get some sweatpants, so I might stop in Marine Lair, but to be honest, all the stores on King Street are like minimized versions of what is online so maybe i'll just try to see i just want to let it, a little bit of a thicker sweatpants because right now i'm like walking in leggings and they are thin and i'm cold I got this cute little candle while I was out. I did not find sweatpants, but I got some ideas. I just want them to be a little bit thicker. You know, Lululemon has sweatpants, but I like their stuff, but their stuff is like pretty thin. So I was reminded that Nike has pretty good thick sweatpants, like joggers. So I might get those. I went to um, Marie and Lawyer and like, I couldn't find anything there. And then where else did I find? Oh, actually Abercrombie. So I ordered some from Lululemon that they just didn't have in store that hopefully are thicker and then i order also order some from viore um but for the thick one i'll see how thick they are if they're not good then i'm gonna return them and just 
get either the Nike or the um, Abercrombie because they were my desired thickness. But what are we doing now? Now that my office is all nice and picked up, I'm going to try to work here for like two hours. Um, what am I working on? I'm like still trying to figure out this health insurance thing. It is so impossible. I've like been working on this for like five months and I'm like to the last component where I'm trying to figure out just like how I get paid. Like I've already signed the contract, I'm in network, but I'm nervous to take anybody on with their insurance just because I don't know if I'm gonna get reimbursed as far as like where the money's gonna be sent to because I think it got, everything kind of got messed up when I moved because I don't know if they need me to still be in Texas. I don't know. I'm like very confused as to like where my business is listed for this to work. I've been told I don't have to like redo the approval process. Like once I'm in, I'm in, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know where they're gonna send this money to. And that's the important part for me. Um, so I'm working on that. I have made like a top three for work today. Um, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on, um, Bernard's like licking his feet. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on, um, I need to finish up my client follow-ups from two days ago. And yeah, that's basically it. Just like two health insurance things. Because also if you're gonna work with me without insurance, we have so many supplemental materials that I cannot bill for through insurance. So I also need to figure out a way to like send them to you if you wanted to pay for those out of pocket um, that you could potentially get through Healthy, which is my client management system. Right, I don't know, because it's videos, it's recipes, and they're PDF handouts that have come from previous clients saying that they would wish they had like certain educational materials um, that we have. So I gotta figure that out. I'm emailing a client now who I had a discovery call with who wants to use health insurance. So, yeah. And then my plan on going on another little mini walk with the babes at five, and then I think I'm gonna go back to Publix and get like a couple of items. And then typically I like that's once the sun goes down and it's 6.30, I just like sit on my butt and do nothing and either like read, I mean, I say I'm gonna read every day and I don't read. Typically watch TV. I think there's a new season of um, True Detective. Maybe that I'll dabble in. Pura flavors in, or scents, I guess you'd say. I got a Pura uh, like two months ago, and I'm obsessed because I love fragrant fragrances, even though I know they're probably not the best for me. Um, I only like fragrances for like air. I really hate fragrances in my laundry though, so that's my like, maybe I can get out of it. But um, the grapefruit one is so good. So I got that one, and these are new ones, I think. I got... I kept seeing this one over and over again, so I was like, fine, I'll just freaking get it. So, um, the Capri Blue, they all just smell like grapefruit. The grapefruit one is like the best, I think. Volcano. Oh, this one just smells like fresh. This will be nice. Maybe to put it like, uh, I, w I need to get another one for upstairs. Oh, that one's nice. I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, it smells like weird. And then, um, there is this one I got called Coconut Palm. I go through it like fairly quickly. So I just got a couple to figure out which ones I like. Oh, this one I can't get open. I don't know, I might need David to do this one. Yeah, it was, I like can barely smell it through this thing. We'll just have to wait for David to come back to open that one. But I'll just use these two for now, but we went on a walk. I'm now at like 16,000 steps today, which is crazy. But because I developed such good endurance while playing pickleball, I um, have to walk way more than like normally what I'd recommend for people for me to even hit like my 
move goal like used to, I feel like I could walk like 9,000 steps and get my move goal to 900. Now I have to walk, I think at least like 14,000 steps to get to 500 in my move ring. So that's why you might not have to do it. Mm, I'm gonna load these in and then eat some dinner. So I was snacking on, um, so I was snacking on these apple empanadas that Davis mom made. Mm, they're tasty. Um, if I have my soup, let me show you. White bean and kale. So this is like super, super healthy because we're getting fiber, protein, lots of healthy vitamins and minerals with beans and greens. Those are pretty much like the healthiest foods that you can possibly eat. Hello, again, I went to Publix to get some foods. Um, because I've been like having some weird issues with my stomach, I just kind of have been seeing like what sounds good and uh, going to the grocery store that day, but it just means that I've been spending a lot. I feel like every time I go to the grocery store, it's like $50 and I've been going like every day. And normally I go to Aldi and spend like $100 for me and David both for the week. Um, but I'm just, again, my whole goal right now is just to like get some food in me. So salt and vinegar chips have been like something that have been tasting really good. So I got those. Um, I wanted to make this smoothie that I've been making. I made a long time ago and I really liked it. I'm going to try to recreate it. I think it's like, I, and so I got mint pears and these bananas. They're like, so maybe it'll be ripe in like two days. Um, so I got that. Also got cottage cheese just because I was loving a good cottage cheese snack. I think I'm going to have some tonight with some berries to put on top. Um, and then I got some other stuff that's just like condiments, like, I always like a good olive oil because sometimes I make homemade dressing and I like to, if it's like something I'm not cooking in, then I like a nice olive oil. Soy sauce, um, because I'm gonna try to make these collars tomorrow that are um, super easy and it's just like, you basically like steam them in like broth and then liquid smoke and garlic and soy sauce, but I didn't have that because I'm having to start from scratch in my kitchen. Maybe that's also why it's been like more expensive because I have to like get a bunch of stuff from scratch, like butter, like condiments. And then I also got randomly this like CeraVe. I can't find, it's probably in like one of the four boxes that are left that I haven't unpacked my makeup. Like I normally do a double cleanse and I'm gonna try this CeraVe. I love anything that they put out, but it's like a cleansing balm, you know? So I'll try that tonight, but. I think all that's going on the rest of the day is 7.15, so I'm just gonna take a bath. There's this like beautiful bath. And then I think just like sit on my butt and watch TV in the living room.